Bienvenidos. Today we're going to talk about possessive pronouns in Spanish. Possessive pronouns are simply pronouns that show possession. And pronouns, as we know, are words that stand for a noun. Now, we probably already learned about subject pronouns in Spanish. Yo, tú, usted, ellos, ellas, and nosotros. Well, possessive pronouns are pronouns that show possession. And they actually replace a noun in a sentence. They use the article of the noun they're replacing, and they agree in gender and number with the noun they're replacing. If we know the possessive adjectives, it's really easy to compare possessive adjectives to possessive pronouns. For the possessive adjective me, like my house, we could use the possessive pronoun mine to describe my house. It's my house. It's mine. And in Spanish, we would need to choose one of these four pronouns to stand for mine. Mia, mias, mio, or mios. Because the pronoun has to agree in gender and number with the noun we're replacing. For tu, your house, it would be yours. Tuya, tuyas, tuyo, tuyos. For su, his, her, your, or their house. Suya, suyo, suyas, suyo, suyos. And for nuestra or nuestro, it would be nuestra, nuestras, nuestro, nuestros. And of course in Spanish, house is casa, feminine singular. So we would be choosing the feminine singular forms of these if we were talking about house. Like for me, it would be mia, mine, mia. Now let's see how we can make sentences with these. So if we said, es mi calle, it's my street. And we want to say, it's mine. We have to choose the noun. We have to know the noun that we're describing, calle. And we have to know the gender and number. This is a singular noun, calle, and it's feminine. So for me, we're going to choose the feminine singular form of the possessive pronoun. Mia. So we know mia is going to be the possessive pronoun mine. But in Spanish, we also need to use the article that goes with the noun being described. And the article that goes with this noun is la. Es la mía. Es la mía. If we were to say, it's my street, it's mine. Es mi calle. Es la mía. Let's do another example. Son tus carros. So they're your cars. They're yours. Which noun are we describing here? We're describing carros. What's the gender and number of carros? Carros is plural. Carros is masculine. So for the tu possessive pronoun, we need to choose the singular masculine form. Oh, sorry, the plural masculine form. Tuyos. And we also need to know the article that goes with carros, the definite article. Los. Son los tuyos. Necesito su libro. I need his book. Now in Spanish, su can mean his, her, their, or your formal. So a lot of times instead of using su, the uh, Spanish sentence is going to be Necesito el libro de Alejandro.
because we know that the book now is Alejandro's book. In this sentence, it's hard to tell who the book belongs to. But if we're in the uh, context of a conversation and, and we know whose book we're talking about, then this might be clear. If To make it more clear, though, usually in Spanish, we would say, Necesito el libro de Alejandro, and we'll tell specifically who it belongs to. But in the topic, in the context of a conversation, this might make complete sense. And if we wanted to say, I need his book, I need his, then we would need the uh, form of the possessive pronoun that goes with libro. Libro is masculine. Libro is singular. So we need the masculine singular form of su. Suyo. And we also need the article that goes with libro, el. Necesito el suyo. Necesito el suyo. I need his. Vimos a nuestras hijas. We saw our daughters. With the word we're describing is hijas. It's plural. It's feminine. So we need the feminine plural form of the our, nuestra, uh, possessive pronoun. And in Spanish, it's going to be exactly the same as the possessive adjective. Nuestras. So we just can use nuestras, and we need the article that goes with hijas, las. Vimos a las nuestras. Now, we could use the indefinite article. Es una mía. Necesito uno suyo. That would mean I need one of his. I need one of yours. Vimos a unas nuestras, as some of ours. So you can use, the, the indefinite article can be used here, but it has a slightly different meaning. Uh, when we use the definite article, it translates to, it's mine, it's hers. Um, I need our, I need hers, or I need yours.